Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the What More Can I Say podcast. I am one of your hosts, Stone Capone. This is episode... Woo-woo! Woo-woo, yeah. Mm-hmm. Come yeah. on. Come on, you. my woo-woo. Woo-woo. What episode are we on? Wait, wait. 178. Nine, all right. There I'm a week behind. All right, there it is. 179. Welcome to it. All right, you already know she's fluffy and fine. Got a Gracie still rocking her Caribbean braids. It is Kiki. Hey, friends. What's up? What's going on? Woo-woo. Woo woo! Is you okay? Is you cool? I'm I'm my bad damn. What's what's why you all on? <laughs> Don't do that. Nah. What I do wrong? I want my damn woo woo. Woo woo! I got to be woo, with y'all woo. soon for an hour. Kiki, I turn mean, up. Thank you. Thank She's you. spicy today. She yes. is. She already look. Before we start this pod, <laughs> she has already insulted me. <laughs> Not insulted you. She's already insulted she me. That so, is insane. She did. So I just want to say that you know. Wow. You're insulting. That is, I didn't, I did not insult him. She tried to sneak it by too. Yeah. I usually insult you intentionally. I really was not trying to insult okay. you this time. Oh, okay. You want to tell the pie fan what I said? She said, "Oh." <laughs> 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 what? I just, I mean, we can't just not tell them what the what I said. <coughs> Kiki said, "I can't get no bad." I never <laughs> said that. I said, "You." have a great um you do a great job <laughs> of getting beautiful women is what i said and how you twist how you let tone trick you into twisting that to be something negative i don't understand she said i outkick my coverage every <laughs> time <laughs> every time that's what she said yeah, yeah every like, time like, yeah, boy, yeah. outkick is coverage. A, a lot of people strike out but I, that, that, you, that, you, that, you, that, you, that, I, I don't know how you do it every time I, not every time when i have seen zach out I always feel like a proud uncle. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, damn, nephew, I see you. But why are you proud? Because they be bad. They be so what do you bad. say? What you're what, saying, what saying is, is that your nephew can't get bad no. news. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. That's not what I'm so saying. So before you put your foot further in your mouth, let's go ahead and get this. Let's get it. My Zach Bush. Yes. Woo. Woo. Happy to see you, Zach. What's hey, up? Man. It's homecoming week. If you are watching this, I am getting ready to be on the yard again. I am so excited to go down there. Yes, he is, uh, For homecoming. I'm going to my homecoming. That's good, brother. Yeah. Good luck. What, you what y'all thought, like one party? Everybody go to? <laughs> no, bro. We got, what, this is SIU. Mm. No, I ain't gonna lie. It's a little different. It's a diff- different ca- campus than when I was there. Okay. Different campus. But we gonna, I'm gonna make, you know. You gonna, gonna make, make it shake. Fun. We gonna, gonna make it make... shake. Homecoming is really about Meet, seeing the people you went to school with, getting up with your frat, you know what I'm saying, or fraternity brothers or sorority sisters or whatever. You know, it's just about the fellowship. It feels like just one big family reunion. That's mm-hmm. the thing. That's the feeling of, of homecoming. Yeah. I'm going to just sit at the Kappa house and drink. Okay. That, that, don't, that don't sound fun, <laughs> don't. That don't it, sound like a little alcoholic <laughs> A little alcoholic It did, it did. But it's I'm fun. just going to sit at the Kappa house and drink and it's, drink it's, and it's, drink. And chill. And like, what it is... I do agree. You know what I like seeing? But y'all not going to have, like, people coming through or, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be yeah, y'all. Yeah, it's going to be a vibe. We got a tailgate. Y'all got food. Game. We got food. We yeah. got a lot of stuff going on. We got day parties. We yeah. got stuff going on. But it just, to me, a lot of it is going, I go, I want to go eat at my favorite places that I went to school at, that I want to go eat there. And then just walk the yard. Sometimes just looking at it and seeing it again, just, it brings back good memories. Is I that corny? It. No, bro, it's, it's, whatever you want to do with your homecoming is whatever you want to do, okay. however you feel. I like the day part. I'm a day guy when it comes to homecoming. Day parties, tailgates, pep rallies, I'm, I can do all the day events. Let's do, let's do all the day events. When it gets night, I'm a little tired. I get mm. tired now, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't see me out Saturday night, I can give you one night club. It's either going to be Friday or Saturday. Probably going to be Friday night because I'm still going to have the adrenaline. Saturday night, you've been at the tailgate all day. You've been eating, drinking, kicking it all day long. Y'all got to understand, TSU tailgates usually don't end till 11, 12 o'clock. At night? At night? Yes. We, we be, Damn. You start, at the, you start at the day party, then you go over to the tailgate. So you at the tailgate all night, party, drinking, food, you having a good time. We, and I'm going to say this. One thing that I wish we did that other schools do, and especially uh, PWIs, we don't go to the game. We be outside the game. But I can't tell you when I've actually bought a ticket and went and watched the game football. Because y'all got wait a minute, y'all it's a we big don't watch homecoming. Y'all have first take coming to y'all homecoming. First take's gonna be there Friday, yeah. They're gonna be there Friday, and then I think are y'all playing? Uh, look at me, uh, Morehouse. Who y'all playing? I don't know. 
That's ridiculous. Because I don't, that's how uninterested I am in the game. We don't, <laughs> yeah, homecoming has nothing to do with the game. Damn, no respect for the athletes? I love the athletes, man, and I wish them the best. But we don't be watching them homecoming. They know that stadium be empty. Damn. Okay. Everybody be outside. I mean, you go outside, it's lit. You go inside, be like, damn, where everybody out? Out there. That's, <laughs> that's where the party is. That's messed up. That's where the party that is. That is hilarious. I know the people playing football will probably be like, damn, I wish I was out there. <laughs> I can't wait till this game over with. I can't wait till this game is over with. Please, so I can go out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, let's go ahead and get to it, man. Time to pop. What up, fam? All right, DDG, Haley, Holly. I don't know what. How you say it, Kiki? Haley. Haley. There it is. Haley Bailey, they broke up. And then Joe mm-hmm. Button kind of called them out and was just like, yo, you know, I'm tired of talking about DDG. Yeah. As he's connected to her. It seems a little clout chasey. Uh, I, I have my own thoughts about that one. What do you think, Kiki? I wonder if me I wonder if you and I agree, but I Joe Budden is not wrong. I mean, I I we I know who DDG is, mm. but like his his level of being relevant after dating her definitely took him to another level. Mm. And I don't think I care about him now that they're not together. I don't. Well, I understand you from your point of view. Yeah. You being a, a Haley, Holly Bailey mm-hmm. uh, lover, and you're a woman. You support all things women. Joe Budden said the same thing. He a man. So no, don't Joe make Budden, it a woman Joe, thing. I think Joe's, Joe's perspective came from he's older, bro. He's yes. older, and he doesn't have any kids. I Luckily, I've got kids that my son had been telling me about DDG for a while. To be honest with you, to mm-hmm. keep it a buck with you, DDG is... It's one of the first streaming dudes that right. really made money. Like, I remember, I interviewed him when he first got his deal. Mm-hmm. And I remember my son was saying, he was like, Dad, DDG, like, like really rich. Like, he really, really rich. He make a lot of money on social media. Yes. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he was telling me how he did it and how he released the songs and a lot of different things. He really is one of the pioneers, low key, of, of streaming and the internet. So I remember when he came in and interviewed, I was like, you could tell. I was like, oh, this little kid, and he's rich as hell. He been popping amongst the 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24 year olds for a long time. Right. So to him, to to people that are all internet, like savvy or just come up under that, whatever, Generation Z, what is it? Gen Z, mm-hmm. he the man. Haley and Bailey, it, it, this makes sense to, to the them. internet. This to makes the sense internet. to them. To to, to people like internet. you and Joe Budden, it doesn't to make the, sense to To the them. world? We're talking about inter- the, internet versus the world. His outreach is not to the world. He's on the internet. He's a big deal. We interviewed him together at one point, and I pressed him about their relationship in the interview, which that's actually a funny clip that we might need to run back. But yeah. I... Um, <laughs> I, I understand being huge. And it's like the TikTokers. I understand. They, they be nah, millionaires. Now, he's bigger than them. I get it. He's a big streaming guy. But he's not on a worldwide scale. His relevancy is not that of hers. And, I, and I'm not going to do... Like, that's just the truth. I'm not going to go. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to say I think this. it's generational. I just think that their their relationship is, you know, I'm older. And I don't feel like that relationship is my business because they're young. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm talking about my, like, some little kids' that's relationship. A good point. So I don't, I don't know about their relationship. But I do feel like he has the right to say whatever he wants to say about his relationship because he was in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's him. And it, regardless of his relevancy, you know what I'm saying? We don't do that with women. And when it, when, a, when a woman who's an Instagram model or somebody or anybody, she don't even have to have a title. When she dates a man and she t- wants to speak about her experience with that man, we be like, listen to speak her. Speak your truth, girl. Speak your truth. truth girl. Speak yes. your truth, yeah. regardless of her relevance. So I don't, if he want to talk based off his relationship... Well, he can he can speak how we he talk wants about to. many can, people, can... many people, especially females uh-huh. that had no talent, had no relevancy mm-hmm. until they dated that man. Okay. At least he has. At least he he was a pioneer in what you would call the streaming era. And you ought to also look at if he's a streamer, his life basically is his content. That's right. So him dating her and then talking about the breakup is his content. It's no difference if. If Halle decided to make a song about her relationship and her breakup or whatever, it'd be her right because mm-hmm. that's what she does. Right. So w- what's the difference? Well, to be to be quite frank, Joe Budden's comment wasn't about their relationship. I love the way y'all just tried to play the woman card. 
Um, it wasn't about that. Y'all should do y'all research on what Joe Budden was talking I about. I saw it. Which was, he was saying, why do we care about what DDG, D, whatever, thinks about. Which is totally relevant to what we're saying about think, women. Think what he thinks about the nine to five conversation and all that other stuff. So I just think, because you can say, oh, he's so big in the streaming world. Again, if you, if the world don't know you across all ages, you're not more relevant than somebody the world knows across all ages. Guess where they know Haley ba- her, her, her Haley Bailey at on the internet? They know her on, on the movie theaters. They know her in the age group of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Everybody know who she is. So whether he got, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting him at all and what he built at all. I love that he came up on his own and he made his own streaming thing. But when we're rapper. talking about relevancy, She's more relevant, and she put more eyes on him than he put on her. I don't think that's. I, a, I, I just think it, I, I think it made sense. I mean, and and I had to. No, ain't I, no, ain't I no didn't streamers, know her. Ain't no streamers coming to but the look, Oscars. But look, but ain't look, no streamers but, getting interviewed by E, e no, News I, at the we, Oscars. We, like, we get, knock get, it off. We get it. We get that. We get that. But I'm saying like this is the fact that it was academics brought it up. He was saying stuff like because he brought up Joe Budden and DDG. He was like he was saying that you know they pretty much the same. Like people mm-hmm. always would be like. Damn, how Joe getting? Cause Joe at that time was just a rapper that had one hit hit record and part of a group, mm-hmm. uh, 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 slaughterhouse. It's like how's he? Joe was dating. If you go down Joe Budden's hit list, it's wild. It's right. wild, and it's the same thing that he compared it to as with DDG. He like, yo, DDG, he doing something because he continually getting bad women. He's got he's he's got a nice list of attractive women that are highly successful the same way. Who? DDG? Yeah. I only know him to date one woman. I don't know his other hit list. You know it. Well, he did mention a couple of them. Ooh. But I don't want to miss no names. But he's Why? Is. They they highly big successful women. You they're said. not they're not like, like Right. Hey, don't hey, nobody hey. know them hoes. We only know <laughs> Haley Bailey. I'm sick of y'all playing with me. Don't nobody know them. Like, we didn't know him before he got with her. So, knock it off. Your so I, son I gave that. you the alley-oop on that. Otherwise, you don't know this man. Okay. So, cut right. it out. Right. I and get... you don't either. No, Kiki. I'm, I know you I'm don't. agreeing with you. I only know him. <laughs> Stop acting like Kiki, I'm tweaking. I only, know him be- <laughs> like, I only know him because of Halle. But I guess what I'm saying is, I know what's, that. Thank you. what's your point, though? The point is, when you talk about who's more relevant in a relationship. That wasn't who, the question. What did you say originally? What you was probably, the original he probably, question? He brought Halle Bailey up. If, if, what, I brought she, up because he's a goddamn topic. But she Calm down, even, champ. She shouldn't even be in the conversation of what Joe Budden said because what Joe Budden said had nothing to do with Ali Bailey. No, he did. Did you see the comment? He was Go. saying, he was like, yo, I'm glad that they broke up because I'm tired of talking about him. He was basically saying, and basically what you just said. Thank it's you. like, yo, he's not relevant yes. compared to her. I I want them to be apart. Okay. And, and, I, and, and then Joe my Budden point to lying. that, he and now, now my point was, since y'all don't want him to talk because he's not as relevant, <laughs> I was saying my only point was women who don't do who aren't as relevant to the guys that they date Thank you. get to talk all the time. Thank you. And then nobody has a problem with it. And instead, it's encouraged and it's told to speak your truth. Thank so you. that's why I pulled the woman card. Right. Then when I the left guy, the So I him. agreed that he's no, he's not as accomplished okay. as Hallie, and we do know him, but he should still be able to voice his opinion, just like these Instagram models can have podcasts, talk, do all type of stuff, start cold lines. Club TV show. If they can do it, why that man can't talk? He can do it. He, he can do whatever. Reality he But the like, question on, about bro. relevancy, Tone tried to gaslight me as if I it's a like I'm an old lady or something. Like I don't know streamers. I didn't, look, I when, didn't, I when didn't. He, he, did. he, he tried. tried. He tried to gaslight me I like I, like yeah. I'm the boomer in the room. He was like, and <laughs> Joe ain't I got like, no kids, <laughs> and I got I'm a like, son. Yeah. And guess what? My son and told me. I interviewed him, and he. When was, he first came I out, was with you. <laughs> no, I interviewed him. No, I interviewed him when he I first came he was out. Holding the camera for you. No, you. I was there. <laughs> no, he was not there. So he was not, not there when I was shooting in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> not there. I was his camera woman. <laughs> not at all. Like I, my thing is to say this. I mean, it's just hard for me when I look because I, I mean, what more? <sighs> All right, what? all right, what? you going I'm what? about to do. I'm about to do it. Do it. You talking like Haley Bailey is like we talking about Angela Bassett, bro. No. She played the Little Mermaid, and she, she was did. one of the co-stars of she the purple, color the purple. Color purple. Yes. Yes. After that. Uh, after after that. Okay, and then what did what, what hit record? And what did he do? And what hit record? She was in a group with her sister before 
she got in the movie but game. You, we played a lot of Bro, it. We played a lot of them. Is, we played I'm, a lot of them. Let me tell you we something. We played a lot of her Google songs. Google is Uh-oh. free. We, Google is free. Did we play a lot? How many songs you played a DDG? We played some. streamer guy? We, play, many, we played some. What? Name me one. Give me one. I forgot it. Give, I, I forgot it, but he did have one. Because we ain't never played. Yes, we did. You probably can't search DDG in that radio system right now. Who you think got more streaming? Streams. Who, who, cares? You think, who you think? No, you, you, you want to go. You, uh, can no, buy no, streams. No. you think DDG's you records them. are bigger than both Haley by herself and her sister? You're I say tweaking, yes. Bro. You're tweaking. I believe it. You're tweaking. I say he stream more. Stream? I ain't gonna lie to you. I, listen. Look, because I'm gonna tell you because the fact of let's the matter be, is he's a, sing me a DDG song. Let me tell you something. <laughs> sing me a DDG song. I can't. I know I can't. you can't. And, and I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. What? I can't sing neither one of those songs. <laughs> Thank yes, you. you can. I can't sing a yes, Haley Bailey song yes, by can. herself. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can't sing one by herself. It, it don't matter. She, I, nev- she never came out as a solo artist. Oh, she, she went we to be an actress. We care about them because but what of Beyonce. Is the, is the, is the, we care about them super because talented. of Beyonce. She's super talented, beautiful. That's the only reason you care about her. They came out as a... They came out. the only reason because of Beyonce, bro. don't even show them no real love, What's the name? What's the name? They the Cheetah Girls with I'll be honest. They're saying. definitely not the cheetah girls. <laughs> Chloe Bailey is one of the most talented performers in our generation. Have you lost and your sister, shit. right? Chloe Bailey. We talking about how you is lost an actress and your also a yacht? singer. She's an actress and a singer. She has not dropped solo music like that to be Tayana played on a Taylor radio station. Light years better than them. So, so guess Bro. how many albums they both got? DDG and Halle. <laughs> both. Zero. <laughs> Are you they ain't got no damn albums, Kiki. I don't care if she's a talented actress. <laughs> she's good. I, I, she's talented I, 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 actress I of our time. And she makes it. And neither one of them. No. Without Beyonce, <laughs> she and them plays with them long ass it's names. Tone Kiki, can if name no, me we're one sorry, DDG song. No. And I love DDG. I'm no disrespect. But if Till Tone can name me one DDG song, I'm done. I have said what uh, I had I to got say. Y'all. But what yes. I'm trying to say is if I go Highly in everybody's phone, I love that we saying this because let's, let's be real. <laughs> I can go in each one of y'all playlists. Yep. You ain't got a DDG record in there and you ain't got a Halle Bailey record in there. I got Chloe, own. though. You, I know you got some Chloe. But I watch Halle movies. But you ain't got... I watch Halle movies. She was in the She's in the talented. Thing. She's super and talented. And he watching stream. But you try to act like she's the greatest talent of our time. Let's, she okay, one let's, of. Let's, she let's, one of. So let's, compared let's, to these start, other girls, start, let's start right here. Let's start right here. Compared to these other girls. Let's start right here. The reason you care about Holly and Chloe is because of Beyonce. That, that is how they lie. were introduced to the world. That is how they were how you ca- That's how they, The reason we care about DDG, he basically built himself from a content creator and became a rapper. You ain't never seen that. This stream. No, the reason we care about DDG is because of Holly. No, thank you. DDG, so this, no, no. Thank you. Thank no, you. So y'all like, all fruit off Beyonce. Truth. Thank no, you. He, <laughs> he thank you. No, he didn't get, thank he didn't, you. I rest he didn't get a record deal because he knew Beyonce. Home. We ain't heard his them record records. Deal record we don't care nothing about a record records? deal. Every, a lot of people got record Give deals that we don't know. But his success didn't come from that. He, <laughs> he, he was successful. Right. I understand that, that, but I'm saying his world yeah, ride. Can't the, even give us the, one record. the reason people started interviewing him is he's not like Kasanat. Kasanat started Thank getting interviewed because he was Kasanat, right? He started, we started, DDG got into relevance based off Halle at first. He talked about his relationship, having a baby. Halle, yeah. she was the reason, she was the, she was the engine behind the uh, headlines. So what we're, what all I'm saying is she, the reason we cared about her is right is because of Beyonce. Now they said these, they said these are the girls and they and then we heard them and we was like damn them girls are super talented and they're different than all the other girls that we've seen. Right. We haven't seen such talented beautiful young ladies before. So we were interested. Now I think their career seemed a little short lived. Them together, we wanted more music out of them, and it seemed like it was short lived. Then they broke up and split. They then, had different passions. They had different pa- then. <laughs> then Chloe started doing her stuff. You are ridiculous. Then Hallie, Hallie popped up out of nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere as the Little Mermaid. And then we was like, wow, that is great. Beautiful. The girl that Beyonce, the little girls from Beyonce group. <laughs> A black is, woman. It's black and she's playing the Little, little mermaid. mermaid, which is already comes with historic and icon because the Little Mermaid is already an iconic thing. If you want to let me, if you want to tell the truth, both of them are fruit from Beyonce's tree. The reason we know them. Is because of Beyonce. Their in none, neither one of their individual accolades has just driven us to like, oh, I love this person based off solely no, just their thing, that's and that's true. and that's just true. Like, come on, no. All right, all right. Can we, we move we, on we because look, Kiki, Kiki, oh yeah, I'm looking. Up. I'm waiting for this Oscar. She's look, she looking for songs. She is. She's, she's looking, looking for a song. Can't I don't find have one. to give a song because she's an actress right now. Well, I'm not saying she's she not, not talented. Music, just but you like acting DDG like is, you act like it's light years. DDG ain't he's a streamer. Music either. 
Thank you. And he probably in the studio every day. You act like I got like a cousin in the studio years. every day, too. He ain't a rapper. Huh? I just said, you act like it's light years. And I agree with what Zach said. Okay, if we going to say that DDG was the only reason we care about DDG is because of blah, blah, blah. And the only reason we care about Perfect. Offset is because of, because of blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You got to say it when we say the, the other. We take the turn on the other on the women that have these relationships. They, I mean, you got to think about it. There's reality shows built off of who you dated. Yes. There's women that got whole Instagrams, all of this. We don't. We wouldn't have cared about you if you wasn't dating this person. So when we bring that up, I don't want you to go like, oh, no, but still, she is talented, though. No, 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 no. In in the case where it applies, you won't, you won't get an argument from me in the place that it applies. It just doesn't apply here. You still can't to give me a DDG record. So, I, but you can name me Holly's movies. That's true. So when you talk about who has a bigger career, it is. What She's it is. got the bigger career. Oh, we God. got it. Yeah, that remake of Color Purple was great. Yes, it was amazing. Yeah, it was great. It I really like, actually like the remake. It was of Color so Purple. good. Tone, you just don't like musicals. No, Tone was just around when that first Color Purple was happening. Like, not even when it was, like, the actual story of Color Purple was happening. <laughs> he saw the color blue. He saw it, it you it know was... what I'm saying? He know, he know Seely now, you know what I'm saying? He grew up with them. That's why he don't want the new one, but that's all right. <laughs> Seely wouldn't say that like that. Right. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. I call Seely right now. <laughs> Seely! <laughs> they got you singing, girl. <laughs> Some little girl named Halle playing. Halle playing you. <laughs> Some little girl Beyonce found named Halle playing. That, that ain't you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not thinking about what you're talking about. They need to go get DDG <laughs> to play Miss. Because <laughs> he self made. He self made. He streams. He streams. <laughs> like people don't buy streams. Oh, please. Not get oh, oh, my God. I, now we now they buy. Oh, I'm done, man. I'm, you know I'm what? Like, he will find a way to win. A, <laughs> I try to win an argument. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's go to the next one. Tia Mari reflects on her marriage with Corey Hardrick. Says she lost her virginity at 25 to him. Now, mm. I don't know why she had to tell us that, but hey, she told us that. Late bloomer. <laughs> late 25? Mm-mm. Them treats were simmering for 25 years. Well, let's just say, like, I mean, you should have around 18, so 19, 20, 21. She did the right thing. She did the right 25 is a. Yes. I don't want it at 25. What? Yeah, if it's still locked up, ain't never nobody touched it at 25. I don't want nah, it. What's wrong with that's you? That's crazy. It's just me personally. That's, a, that's, like, that is like, that's a, like a dry age steak. Like, yes. <laughs> like, no. Hell, you, that's good wine. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, bro. Yeah. I'm a little experience. That's like, just, was that's How long were they married? You deserve better. How long were they married? Hmm? Like 20 were, years or something like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See what happens when you when she wait till you're 25? <laughs> they were locked in for... 20 some years. It's, it's a shame, though, to see them break up. They were a good couple. Yes. They're a good couple. The only thing with me is this. Okay, I want to hear what y'all say. What? So most sisters and another. With a, just this is another example. It surely is. Two isn't sisters it? where the woman is a little more famous than the guy. <laughs> uh-huh. And they together. She was more famous than him when they yeah, got together. She was yeah. more famous. Mm-hmm. And then he took her, then, you know. He, she's still more famous. Mm-hmm. Than him? Yes, Tone. Tone? It's not even close. <laughs> I, okay. I respect how he rided for the men. I don't know who, what you must have had in one of your meetings. Like, somebody <laughs> was like, you got to stand up for the men because he <laughs> is trying today. But it's just, it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. The facts you're are the facts. literally talking about T.M. Mallory. Okay, you're right. You're right. It's not even close. It's, yeah. You're right. Right. And that's not a bad. It's not a disrespectful thing. It's not a bad thing. thing. No, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. It's not a bad yeah. thing. It's just it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not watching. He that. know that, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I, okay. So this is my thing. What? I've just we've watched marriages break up in public in front of our faces. Yes. And it just seems like it's been what two years since they've been together. Mm-hmm. Like that's she got to turn up, bro. She got to stop doing podcasts and talking. And shout out to my girl, Essence Atkins. Shout out to her. Uh, the interview with Essence, I was like, oh, Essence is a good friend. I mean, I like, I know she trying to look out for a girl, but she's supposed to told her, like, baby, stop. Stop talking about it and just turn up. You seem to be like, I don't know. I mean, first person comes to mind is Megan Good. You get out of relationship. You just you, you kill people with success. You see, he ain't said a word. 
You he know what? Okay, let's talk about it. Now, yeah, I, I, I got it. Well, you Tone, break up, you, 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 you on one today. But right. let me tell you something. Okay, tell me. Meg is out here. Meg, Meg, Megan Good is out here fighting court cases. Okay, that's no, total. That's a totally different thing. Yes, she is. She no, she's not. I she mean, with she her went man. She's she with she her broke man up. showing up, fighting them court cases, and I respect her for that. And I and I got love for. Come that. on. Okay, man. but let me tell you something. T- uh, listen, is it Tia or Tia? Mm-hmm. I get them mixed up. Tia. Tia is turning up. That's part of what it is. She literally has her own show, and the reason you hear her talking about it because it's part of the rollout for the show. So she is doing her thing. She's got her own show coming out. That's what the show? only reason she's talking about it. She has a new reality show. A new reality TV. show. The reason the reason you know that clip, the reason the thing that went viral about her sister and them not talking that much is because it was a part of the rollout for the clip. When it, she's rolling out the stuff with her life, she's just telling her life. And guess what we are? Interested. And that's why it's in the headlines, because we're talking about it. Mm-hmm. She's literally in the midst of turning up. Okay? She's been quiet. We hadn't heard nothing from her when she was married to that man, <clears throat> except when she wanted us to. And now she rolling her shit out. Like, you got to give her credit. Nope. This is I don't know. Listen. This is turning up to me. I don't like it when, because at the end of the it's day, her I, don't life, like, I don't like that. No, I'm, just, I'm not saying it's her life. She can do what she want to do with it. I'm saying for me, she's an actress. By trade, we know her as a actress. And her sister as an actress. We know him as an actor. He's doing what they do. What, he does turning up like Tia doing a reality show. Any that's that's low hanging fruit to me mm. for for actors. That's low hanging fruit. We could do a reality show. We, we, what we can't do is act. What we can't do is create a show. I think that I think that like you going you doing. Maybe this is a part of the rollout. Maybe it's the reality show comes with the movie comes with the the television series. I don't know what it is, but to me, when I see actors doing. Doing reality TV, no shade to the reality TV people. I think it's low hanging fruit. I would like to see, and it would be it would be low hanging fruit if she was on one of these wives shows. She would it would be low hanging fruit if it was somebody else's show. Okay. It ain't low hanging fruit when it's your own show. Okay. It's it, it, it when it's about when it's based around your whole life. It's about Tia Maori. Ain't none of these other reality show people got a show about them. Just just them. Facts. It, that's what makes it not low hanging fruit. That makes it boss. And and you that know that people care enough to have the the Kiki show. Like this is my reality. This and it's all about her. It ain't no characters like you got to act like this. You got to fight this. No, her. She comes from a public family of success. This is the time where you tell your. She's telling her story. And I love Corey. And I understand. You know everybody that's saying like, why is she talking about it? But like if if I waited twenty five years to give you this box and no, I stay no, with no, you. No, don't overestimate tw- the box. No, that's not I, what we're not I gonna don't do. Give it overvalue if the box. If I stay with you for twenty years and have two children by you, when I'm done with you, that's my story to tell. I don't give a damn what you think about it or how you feel about it. I waited twenty five years and you're the only man I've been with for in twenty in something years. You think I'm going to stop talking about that? Absolutely not. I'm going to talk about, like, she ain't had nothing else. That's all she going to talk about. What else is she supposed to talk about when it comes to that? Do you think she got something else now? No. And that's why she's talking. She's letting the world know, yo, I was only with this man. She's looking for the next man to come Knock her down. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> when you only, going? when you all, y'all know, I'm, I don't do that. Like, so I get, I feel to you on this. You know okay, what I'm saying? When okay. you don't, when you know a girl who haven't had a lot of partners, the ones you've been with, it's serious. Like, like I value this. You know, you may say it ain't value, but I know what I'm sitting on, and I only gave it to you. And so when we break up, of course I'm gonna talk about it because I ain't got. You know what I'm saying? And I'm now I'm letting the world know. That it's out here, it's available, it ain't been ran through. Come holla at me. That's what she's doing. No. So she is a part of turning up. No. It's a part she promoting her show, but I get Tia is looking so you for said her next she, man. She promoting that coochie? That's, yes. No. Yes. You got no. to put that thing that can on. That happen on no. the floor. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. Well, I was with you. No. 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 He can <laughs> turn it around. You got to put that thing you on tour. You no. got to no. put it on tour, Tia. It's been 20-something, 40 years. 40 years for one man. You 
she's in her 40s. She's only had one man? We don't know that. Girl, you got to put that thing on tour. You, she, That's what she's doing. She's yeah, announcing. I was with you till I wasn't. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, that, it's a, a thousand other ways to do it. My thing right. is I'm saying, hey, you're an actress. You go out. You, She's not like she's not talented. They've been talented, both her and her sister, since she was kids. Yes. They were kids. Mm-hmm. She definitely, and Essence is her girl. Yes. I mean, you put together a show. She's been in Hollywood. She a mover and a shaker. And it, it's no way that I can't think this woman can't come up with a show. Tell I just no way. I just, the reality show to me. Oh, let me talk about. We're not watching all of shows my, though. All of my problems with like because that's what America is buying. We're not watching shows. The no, days of the Parkers are over. No. We're not. We're not sitting down to watch you no, act on the show. No, she it's did. Not, we want to know your. Why life. you bring up the Parkers? Because That's tacky. I, I know you can relate. You know what I'm saying. I know That's you just want. Tacky. I know you want. You know the reboot to happen. <laughs> but we ain't watching that like that. You know what I'm saying. We want to see your life. What are you doing in the world of social media? We want to be in your business. So to come back on the scene, give us the reality show. Let us know where you are and what you're going through and what's going on. You ain't speaking to your sister. You. Just just came out of a divorce that makes you very relatable to the regular woman you know what i'm saying now you finna put that box on tour now you want to watch who you date next oh my god I, I just don't like you putting, putting tia's box, on, box tour on tour is, is crazy that's the truth tia's box don't need to be on tour tia keep your box box no up. you the man who just said this overvalued this overvalued bro you know how hard it is to find a woman that only had one partner in 40 years that's true. And I understand that. And that I, look like she looks. She ain't ugly. She gorgeous. Beautiful. Successful. Uh, uh, in, just, into the into the, her word. Got he, like a mother. She got every, she checked every like box and only had one man in 40 years. You talking about the value. But you talking has, about that, but it bro, ain't she, just it ain't just your business, Kiki. Who business? It ain't it just her business. Okay. Yeah, it ain't that's just right. her business. Right. Right. And then you got, and also you got kids involved. There's yes, another. Yes, we do. That's the little. So it's it's a little bit different. Okay. It's a little how? different. So I'm just saying, how so now you talking about our relationship. Just think about this. I'm just telling you. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out yeah, there. Yeah, throw it out there. He's not in reality TV. That's fine. He's outside of it, that's right? That's fine. You're talking about our relationship. You're talking about all. And we all know in relationships, there's your side, my side, and then the truth that's, somewhere that's, in the middle. Mm-hmm. So now you're talking about all of this stuff that's going to force me to have to respond. But guess what? And I got to sit there and watch, or, I, or I sit back and I just got to watch my life being told one-sided on television to help you get your... It's, not, it's just not I love, cool and, about and it. It's not cool me, me about just, that. I wish we weren't talking about these two because I truly love Corey like a friend. I, I really do. But... When you say that, you're a little wrong because guess what? She's telling her story. She never, we still don't know why they broke up. So you got to sit back and watch me tell my story, my side of the truth. If you would like me to tell the full story, I could tell it. She ain't never told us that. She has never spoken against him. The full him. story is only told she when he's ne- involved. She says, ne- no, no, it's not. She's what are you ne- talking she's about? She's never spoke negative about no, him. But I'm saying, she, no, you we, said we you, said you could know. tell me, you said, no, listen to what you just said. You said that I could tell you my side of the story? Yeah. Or I could tell you the full story. Right. The full you, story is never going to be told by one person involved in a in a, in a guess relationship. What? You don't even want me to tell my version of the full story. Trust me. You don't. So let me tell the world that this box been on pause for 40 years because that's all she's told us. She has not defamed him. She has not talked against him. She has not told us why they broke up. She has not k- tried to flex on him. None of that. She has not disrespected this man publicly at all. That's just a fact. I could see if she was on TV like, you know, he broke my heart. He hurt me. He left me with two kids. He did me dirty. He don't pay his child support. He it's abused implied. me. This and that. He's never, she's never done that. It's implied. No, it's not. Okay. It's not implied. It's not implied. It's not implied Here's at all. All she has said was, Corey was all I knew. Corey was my first love. That's all respectable things. That's not disrespectful at but all. They left me. <laughs> now you might not you might not like me talking about our relationship at all because for many reasons that could be there. You may not like me talking about our relationship. But at the end of the day, that lady has not disrespected him publicly. And a lot of women do. And tell their own, especially right. when they have a bigger platform, so to speak, they get out and tell their side of the story, their version of the story. All Tia has done is told us that he was her first love. So what's so bad about that? 
I don't know, man. Let's go on to the next topic. Y'all don't want me out. What's so bad about that, Zach? All right, all right, I don't want to hear nothing about no cooch. You only, okay. been, uh, cooch you only been hit one time. I don't want to hear nothing about no one time cooch. I don't want. I don't we want know you want to go. You want to go with uh-uh, her? Because yeah. all that sound like is a lot of. Oh my god! Oh my I don't want to hear that. Shout like, out! What? Shout out to whoever. That's, that's disgusting. Oh yeah, it like. That is disgusting. Uh, that is hear all gross. that. Uh-huh. That is gross. I'm grown. I'm 40. <laughs> I'm 45. <laughs> you over there. <laughs> Girl. That is so sad. Get out here with that. Man, everybody want That's so sad. <laughs> so you prefer a woman that, that slept with 100 men? Oh, I don't know how you go from one extreme to the next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from one yeah, extreme. Yo, That's the thing about Kiki. When relax. she talks to you, it's either 100 men or one. Or one. No, I hate I'm, that you're It's got to be. Why are you trying to? It's got to be something in between. You're shaming and women one. for not ha- so for not having so shame, many sexual partners. I didn't shame anybody. I told my preference, <laughs> and what I said is, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Stop. That is and so. And other men like I, me I, who know exactly make nobody do that. what so I please, want. Hey, knock it off. You don't know what I make knock them do. Knock it off. You ain't <laughs> had no. The, the, the girls you with clearly got to have fifty or more partners before they can get to you. That's not true. That's not true. Fifty so, is wild. Fifty that is crazy. Going like this. I went 50. from. Kiki, why you woke up on your extreme? I don't shit know today. why she now, now they gotta be hoes and then no, fifty I'm more partners. Women hoes, I'm but just there's saying. something. She, call, between, she called your women hoes. That's I'm something. Just, it's something. It's a big difference between one and a million. I just and it's, never it's met something a man. in between. Well, he said that. every Who's, woman he dated is a hoe. Well, here's what he said. No, he, I can't said say, that. he can't date a woman with a low body count because he don't want to hear that noise. I never said a low body count. A low body count is fine. Zero to one is damn near nothing. What's wrong with that? Closed up. Wow, that's sad. That's sad. Don't have a Baby, daughter. Why you don't have a daughter. Why is it arched like that? See, now you gonna go. Don't you have a daughter. Not, I jump not, out not, of see, it. See, <laughs> what you teaching your daughter? I'm jumping. There out it here. is. Now, I, I'm teaching my daughter to be like Tia. Oh, but then look how you talk about women like Tia. I ain't marrying my daughter. That's sad. <laughs> that is sick and sad. Sick Drake and sad. calls out fake friends following or going I'm just playing, y'all. Kids. I want y'all to know. No, he not. No, he not. I respect all the virgins out there. Keep your V card as long as you can. Ciao. <laughs> Drake calls out fake friends following the ongoing beef with Kendrick. Are you tired of the Drake and Kendrick beef, not beef, fake friends, this whole thing? What do you think about it? Again, just like Tia, I feel like Drake has a story to tell, <laughs> and he could tell messy. his. He could he is hurting right now. So and he bad. Could, and yes, and he could tell his story and react how he want. At first, I was like, Drake, please go sit down somewhere. Stop giving us these weird pictures on Instagram. Stop dropping these weird songs. Like, just go sit down and recover. But honestly, if I would have got my ass whipped the way he didn't get his ass whipped the last year, and all the people I thought were my friends then turned on me, I probably would be a little salty and crying in the club too. So Drake, go ahead, get it out, get it out your, ch- you know, off your chest, express yourself, and you know, talk to, to the the Lord and the lady. It'll get better. Mm-hmm. Um, Drake, just sit down, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Especially, and I, I understand you expressing yourself, but when you were in the club at this party giving people that long speech, <laughs> and then you went into me myself, and I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I said, man, you need to sit down somewhere. Your friends need to. When has anybody ever gave a speech and then dropped Beyonce, me, my, or is that Destiny's Child? Might be. Beyonce. Oh, and why would you drop Beyonce, me, myself, and I? Because he's saying that's all he got in the end. That's what he found but, out. Do you know the song starts off, all my ladies, if you feel me, help me sing. Yeah. yeah. So, Tom, let me paint the, <laughs> let me paint the picture of what happened. Drake was in the club. He said, you know, people switch up on you. You know, people switch sides, you know. And I just want to let y'all know, in life, the people that you thought were your friends really don't be your friends. And at the end of the day, all you got is your, you know what? Just drop it. All my ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it. Yeah. What? Uh-huh. No. What? No. It took some time. What are you doing, Drake? That was the worst thing, song you could have dropped in yeah, that moment. what these you didn't say you what did you know up against the world you could have dropped hell you could have dropped any of your songs i just hit the switch. Switch, switch something but you decided to drop me myself and i <laughs> that was that was that is the softest thing i've ever seen in my life how to no. begin that song go again all my ladies if you hear me <laughs> have me sing <laughs> that's how it started that is wild that's wild that's but that's drake that's who he is. I don't like this That's Drake right he is. here. I don't like this Drake. Your confidence, look, you walking around as if, not 
we know Kendrick won the battle, but it looked like he took your confidence from you, bro. The way you put, like, like Kiki just said, the way you dropping music is like in a non-confident way. Yeah. It's like, let's see, you just throwing sneaking out, out records, you sneaking out, doing these little, these little, um, the best verse you done had since the beef is the BBL Drizzy thing with, uh, with Sexy Red. You don't you you did a whole house music song that's random. No face is cold. He's but it's just it's the way you know what I'm saying. Like he's still talented. We know the talent is in there, but right now he needs to just work on building his confidence and the way he feels about himself back up. We but, watching somebody that lived a public life go through it publicly, and that's just it. He lives a public life. He his got his ass kicked is shot in public. Right now. I mean, ain't been winning. A, there's a lot. There's a lot to this. I think mm. there's a lot to this. A person that has been winning. He been on a winning streak that spans some years. Now you take a public ass kicking like a, we ain't never know. Like we've all been embarrassed in high school, and we felt that first couple weeks like, ah oh, man, I hate going to school, and then it eventually goes away. This ain't going away. They continuing it. I mean, it looks like the Super Bowl because we know it's going to win a Grammy. So at the top of the year, it's going to still be going and going into twenty twenty five. I just think he just, especially playing that record, I was like, with you, Zach, I was like, ah, dog, what you doing, bro? Like, what you doing? I just think that. Where's his I, friend? I, I, I put it in the pod chat. Where Chubbs? I put it in the chat. None. This is all over no, Chicks, Chubbs bro. Is his this is all over Chicks. What Chubbs? If at? you look at that hit list, if you go through, because it showed Drake's hit list, that's that, that, that post I sent in the chat, this is all over Chicks. And people been waiting. That's why his friends changed. They was all mad. And, well, people that he thought was his friends was like, dude, I'm mad at you because you did blah, blah, blah. And I ain't never been able to kind of say nothing. But now I can pile on. Because it's just odd for certain people just to say the way it turned and the way it switched on him is weird. I get that. And it's I, weird. It's all over chicks, bro. I understand how he feels. He's been killing people. chicks. He can chicks. feel bad right now. But as a friend, let's say something happened with you, Tom. And you on the radio be like, all right, y'all, you can do And you going on rants and stuff publicly. As a friend, I'm going to stop you and be like, hey, bud, hey, bro, we going home. Somebody should have took Drake home. Y'all saw he was <laughs> unstable at that show. He was unstable. He up there singing Let Me Love You with Mario. He don't know what to do. He hanging with Mario. He ain't, nothing get, ain't nothing wrong with Mario. Ain't nothing wrong with Mario, but it's just Mario's random. Mario's straight. Funny. So nasty. No, I love no, Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario Cole, but when the last time you seen Drake and Mario hang out? That's all oh, I'm saying. God. All I'm saying. All, he don't know what you know when you at a point where you just not. It's friends yes, so. though. It's yes, friends can't tell right. him nothing, man. He don't hang around them type of people. That's what Kendrick told y'all. He, he don't hang around. That's, that's a fact. These are not his friends. He told y'all that, and and to be honest, it's unfortunate, but like. Some of the stuff might have been true. Like, he he don't feel confident dropping records if he don't have somebody swag to steal. That's what Kendrick said. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's... Uh, that's what Kendrick yeah. said. Kiki, you low. That's what Kendrick said. You are low right so now. when it get... When, when everything is stripped from you, who are you really? You don't know who you are. And that's why you got to talk to them. But lady. you was out there and it looked like you had on a vocal jersey. See? I looked at it. You had you a get, yellow it's jersey. The braids. The bra and it was just... Just the way he was talking and moving, it just didn't. He didn't seem like the confident Drake that we love. He to got see. to drop a, he, and mind you, that wasn't a concert. That was just a, a party in in uh, Toronto that I guess his people thought. And he just showed up grabbing the mic, and then you decide to drop me, myself, and I by Beyonce. And I love Beyonce, but damn, she wouldn't have dropped that right then. Nope. Hmm. Huh. That. Y'all, yeah, I mean, okay, so have you ever been in a situation where you've had fake friends? Where you, like, you really been cool? Yeah. And it's saying, like, so how did yeah. that affect you? It be hurting my feelings because I be really thinking everybody my friend for real. Like, for real, for real. And then when I find out you really not my friend, my feelings will really be hurt. I can't say I'm going to walk around like Drake. It just make me, you know, turn mm -hmm. up on you or whatever or just get away from you. Um but yeah, I just feel like it's not even about just him having fake friends. I think that there has there has been things done to people that they, like you said, were never confident enough to call him out on it, and now they feel they have the opportunity, and they're just everybody's holding him accountable for they stuff that he may have done over the years. So it's like when you got that one homeboy who is the most popular in the group. He's he's the you know everybody around him worships him, but nobody likes him in real life. Nobody. The moment he leave the room, everybody and everybody talk about him. 
That's Drake. Everybody been talking about him for years. Everybody been mad about stuff for years. But because he was on top, because he was winning, nobody had the balls to aim at him until Kendrick came along. Mm. I don't think that's fair, but I but get you don't it. think it's fair about it. Because I don't I feel like if you didn't have the balls to, to talk bad about me when, when you felt that way, don't do it. Don't wait till Kendrick do it. Now you can. I don't think that's fair. I think it's not stay that's, stay just as quiet as you was when you when you was before. Yeah. The same way you held it in. Then, you can stay you quiet if you didn't do anything to that person. Like if you didn't do it, I can see if this is not all there's a reason why people are like this. Everybody don't just turn on you because they just want to turn on you. Kendrick ain't cool enough. No, no shade. Okay, he ain't cool been cool enough these years. Can you make it seem like they just forever? No, for, for, for us I'm to be like to because Kendrick said it. We that's it. We ain't no, never no, moved no, like no, that. No, 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 no. It's not Drake. that. It's not that. The reason they moving like that is because Drake benefited them. So they benefited off his presence. Or did, and they were willing, they were willing to deal with whatever he did. Yes. Because of the benefits of it. Look at Rick Ross. You got all these number one records with Drake. Your biggest records are with Drake. Mm-hmm. You still perform them on your set to this day, but you sitting here dissing this man. You wouldn't have done that if Drake if, if, if you wasn't in that position, but you needed him. You're so many people who if you you know what I'm saying? They, but just they, because it wasn't I needed just, you, you yes, did you, something to me though, for me to feel that, a way but you, towards but you. But what I'm trying to say is if you, if you were willing chicks. to bite the bullet and bite your tongue, if you're willing to bite and if your tongue. Just chicks, that's corny. If no, it's just I, because, chicks, that's because corny. I, I, this is the way but I But you were willing to the, bite but, your but, tongue Zach, before, but now you're not. But Zach, you you've seen it. And I don't know what the equivalent is for a woman, but we we seen you've seen it. No, I'm just saying, I mean you've seen this. You seen it. A guy that move real crazy and we've seen it people be it might be in a friend group your fraternity or whatever and they they moving real crazy they like they just hollering at every every everybody's chick they don't care they don't do it this is what it seems like because we've never heard drake do bad business what have we heard him talk about we we heard him cheat somebody out of some money or the or weekend the we- if you, you look didn't at- hear about drake trying to sign artists and then take their whole swag and no, that's no. That's 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 the music business. The signing of the signing of no, the signing of artists and people stealing they and and borrowing and it, that just happens. Okay, that's that, bad business. That's it. So okay. if I'm on the weekend, the moment I get a chance to get on a track and diss you, I'm gonna take you it. You see that Bella Hadid? Yeah. You saw that? Did that he dated her? Fine. But wasn't if you my boy, shit? if you my boy. But wasn't it? Wasn't it the weekend boy shit? And you dating my chicks. So that so there goes. So that's what I'm saying. I'm a lot of this, a lot of this stuff seems because it just seems because I haven't heard of any, and maybe you heard more than I have. I haven't heard of any bad business. We ain't had like no real beef. Like you didn't beat up my friend, or I didn't something wild. It's all seems like super petty that has to do with men's ego and my chicks. I understand. Even that. if it's my side 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 chick and Drake, like all right, I'm taking. I'm, I'm gonna get her. Cause I, I've seen that happen where a guy is gonna try to holler everybody else's chick, holler, at, and then as soon as one thing bad happens to that guy, cause he been doing bad karma, what people be like, oh that's karma, and you start seeing people pile on on that. But I, even if it's chicks, I don't think that's cool. No, look because at that's weak. Cause look at the look at the situation that you in. You know you the most popular dude right now. You know you most popping. And it's almost like I brought this chick around, and you like, nah, it's my. I chick say it's now. bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude's gonna feel a way about Thank that. You. you know, yeah. you're not finna just keep hitting my chick. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Like every time I bring somebody around, or right, you know what I'm saying? You sneaking in the DMs because you feel like you invincible, and then every chick wants you. Right. Nah, man, it's got to be some honor. Like you're supposed to be my friend. It's certain chicks that like you can do that for. But if I'm like, hey, man, this is who I'm dealing with, and you in the back but door, you seen that habit. Yeah, but when you say just chicks, it's almost it's it's more of them. Because I don't than, see any real beef. But I'm I don't saying see any that real is beef. real beef. Because now you're trying. No, me no, as no. A but person. I'm saying you're disrespecting me. You're you being right. disrespectful to yes. me as a man. But even I'm saying I don't even see though it's real not about beef, the chicks. What I'm, what I'm explaining to you is that and Kiki, as I don't and y'all can tell me if I'm wrong, I don't see what I would consider as real beef. Like I look at a Pac and Biggie. That was like, it was violence well, happening. that's because he's was, not you know, a street dude. If somebody dude. smash your chicks, you're going to have a beef oh, yeah, with them. Yeah, no, it's going to be my, real my, beef. Yeah, it's, it's, no, no. If you were my friend, if you were my friend, and then you try to slide in my chick DM. That's real beef. That's that, I got a problem because that it's a lack of it's honor amongst men. It's an honor. And that's See? what I'm saying. If you doing, if you mis, mismanaging that honor all the time because okay. you on top and you know you kind of got this power thing over the next guy, and he under you, you might be paying him, it might be in any situation, you mistreating him. And, so, and you know you are. 
that's to, to my point. Especially as somebody who can make records of be so emotional and vulnerable. You know these things, bro. You're not just a savage. And if you're paying me, I'm not messing up my bag. I'm going to wait till somebody bigger and better kick your ass, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, he did do that. Yeah, he is weak. Yeah, he is lame. Yeah, he is corny. That's when I'm going to do that. So to your to your question, Zach, on why they waiting, if he paying everybody, yeah, I'm going to keep getting your money. We saw the same thing happen with R. Kelly. R. Kelly had this city on lock. The moment they knew that man wasn't coming back home, everybody in the town started telling their stories about R. Kelly. Me, a, a whole bunch of men that was his biggest groupies. You could look at YouTube videos and see some of these men in the video chasing around R. Kelly. And then when you talk to them today, they act like that man, that he was the worst thing since sliced bread. Yeah, I couldn't tell. So it's the same thing. Drake had all these people around him that he thought was his friends, all these NBA players that he thought was his friends. And then the moment they got the chance to really show how they feel about him, they have taken the chance. And because he because he was moving funny, he now has to deal with those repercussions. It's not people just doing this out of nowhere. R. Kelly used to take dudes, girls all the time in his camp, allegedly. And they just had to sit there because they was working for him. What can you do? But if I know you going under... Yeah, now it's time to kick your ass. Or when it's time for you are in a beef and they like, hey, man, what's some information on Drake? We got now I X know amount of kids. dollars for you. Now I know he got a kid out here. Now they I know telling he got, it. They now telling I know it he got a BBL. Feel. Now I know, you know what I'm saying? They don't feel. So, yeah, that's why you had to treat your people right and treat people right, no matter who you are. Because mm-hmm. every the same way you go up, you're going to see them same people on the way down. And it's all about how you treat people on your way up, baby. Because once you get to the top, you treating people a certain type of way, you will have your day. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I, I, it's a, for, so I heard another podcast that mentioned that it was like, it's got to be Relax. over women. Is it, I don't agree. Just because <laughs> Kiki just feeling herself today. What she said? I don't know what it is. She was like, they, she looked at the camera too. She didn't, <laughs> she didn't even look at us. She looked at the camera and said, they agree with me. <laughs> That's two. Girl, relax. That's two today. She two and oh today. She feeling good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Give us another topic. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we we pretty much ran out of topics. The things are worth talking about right now. What? Uh, well, we uh, what the... about T- uh, Asia Doll and Tusi? What Jeff. was that about? Now you, now you know what. Go ahead. Final thoughts, that. y'all. Final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I told y'all. Asian oh, oh, doll. No, oh, no, oh, oh, how about this? No, it is this. Okay, so I looked on Media <laughs> Takeout. And it had, they were saying, oh, freak out picture. Freak out pictures is leaked, which I hate saying it. Saying you was that looking word. to see if you was in any of them. <laughs> Not in, I've never been to a Diddy freak off ever. So they never went to media. Who's still going to media takeout? They just sent the alert to everybody that been to a freak off. And Tony got the alert. He's, he's I went, over, in I went over there. <laughs> That was really, it's a slow news week. So, so <laughs> I ain't been on media takeout nobody, in years. They, they didn't I go in there and watch it a while. To everybody who been at a freak off and told him to see if he was are in the pictures. Are they incredible? Yes. No, no media, media takeout, takeout is not great. It's been credible for years. Well, they have pictures of Dre and Michelle. Basically, it's Dre, pictures of Dre and oh, Michelle. Oh, you went on there? Huh? You went on there? No, why are you keep saying that? I'm on it. I'm just asking. I'm not, what? Kiki, look, I I'm know just, you think my life. It's very uh, interesting. Zach's got probably a more wilder life than I do. Mine, I'm learning that. Oh, wow. Mine is very yeah, uninteresting. I, I'm learning that because you know, I, I, now mm-hmm. in the 20s, all I yes, do is take care of my son and go home. Ciao. I have a I have a very uninteresting life. Like my like, I have never only wild ass parts. I've been to, I've been in the Playboy Mansion, and that's why I've been like, yo, like to You've me. You been to the Playboy Mansion? Yes, I've been in the Playboy party. What? The Playboy at the Playboy Mansion. See? And that's why when they talk about Diddy freak offs, I'm like, you been to the real freak offs? Nah, like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like, like, stop it, dog. There's all type of parties throughout, and I'm not saying that that any of the any of the abuse of alleged drugging and all of that stuff. But come on, man. Like, mm-hmm. there is like I always say, there are accountability things. Okay. All There's right. the I'm not going in certain places. I'm not. I, I can see what's getting ready to happen. I'm an adult. I know. What's going on? You get so people that are involving themselves sometimes are uh, they want to be involved with it for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. But I do also agree with what May said. He said it's not consensual if you su- if you surprise somebody. Yeah. So that's true. Yeah. So anyway, you clicked on the freak out pictures. And and what what they see? said was a freak out picture. It was just Dre and Michelle in the pool kicking it in a very compromising position. Then, like, Justin was, like, in between her legs. It was probably an old Ooh. picture. But I just, like, yo, like, if you Jalen Green, not that he probably cares. He had somebody else pregnant around the same time that 
Dre was pregnant. But I mean, damn, you see a baby mama like that, that's just tough. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Got to be if you saw your baby mama, Zach, he, well, in you a know compromising like his position. No, I wouldn't want to see that. I get it. Years, years, years would, it, would you feel away? And it was years and years ago. Ten years ago. But you saw her in a compromising position. What's compromising? It depends on who my baby mama is. If, if I was marrying somebody, or my baby mama was somebody in the industry that I know was a model that was around celebrities, I, I kind of knew this was this could happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, if, if she worked at a bank, i have some issues. What would you do? Tell me about this life I didn't know about. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if you, it's Drea, right? You know she was a model. You know she was around celebrities. You know she dated before you. You knew what you was getting yourself into. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. It's, That's fair. It's like dating a hood dude, ladies, and they be like, I can't believe he sold drugs. How do you think he got that much money? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he gives you thousands of dollars all the time, and now you like, I can't believe it. <laughs> you think this dude in the fifties that yeah. oh, all the laundry, laundry mats, mat. right? Like, <laughs> he got laundry and now mat. you see a picture of him <laughs> selling dope. Oh, how did I, I don't. This is wild. No, it's not. It's what he does. That's true. That's true. See, my, 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 my man got laundry mats, Harold yeah. buildings. <laughs> and I would say like he was an engineer. You'd be like, what were you doing? Now and with no survived. college degree. Yeah, he ain't got no college degree, but he got four trucking company. Yes, King. So you like see Kiki like that type of stuff. She love a reform hood yes. dude. Yes. Uh, final yes. thoughts with a crazy. record. Mm, invest in me. Um. My final thoughts. What was it? It was something I needed to address with y'all, too. I don't know. Oh, this week on TSR Live, you know, I'm going to be missing you guys. And Zach was so sad earlier. He was crying on my shoulder. But I want y'all to be strong, okay, and make me proud. Okay, We're going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to be just fine. That we'll ain't see. what you said earlier. He you was said crying. We'll, I said and we'll be so, just fine. I just want y'all to hold it down. No, you know so he what said because he's going to be on the show with just me, he think he's going to be bad? No, he was crying because he's going to miss me. It ain't about you. It's about me. Okay. First of all, Thank I, you. I'm not. I did so, not cry. He cried and said that he is so sad that I'm not going to be there. So I just want to make sure that y'all All I said is hold how, it up. how much she get paid. And don't, Bust it down. <laughs> and don't spew his toxic. Don't let Tone spew his toxic masculinity views. Okay, that he tried today on this podcast. So, yes. Oh, it's going to be some Please. masculine energy on this show. <laughs> so, that's all. That's my final thought. Toxic masculinity? Yes. I don't think I have that. So, you said DDG is more. I'm not going to argue I, again. We go, I, have a, I have a perfect response to this once this pod is over. What? Let's just not. No, I'm not doing that. Let me say something. If you bad, gonna... hit my hand. If you bad, man, say it right now. If you bad, <laughs> <laughs> if you mad, hit my hand as well. Yeah. Knock this stick off my shoulder. Yeah, say it right now. It, ooh, why was that a thing? Like, why would you have to fight if somebody knock a stick off we your shoulder? We were dumb show? kids. Oh God, but yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys on Thursday. So, yeah. What you gonna be doing? I am going to be hosting a, a gala for Planned Parenthood. That seemed like something. Yeah, to shit fight you. for women's reproductive rights. I'm not no. Everybody just has one penis. Everybody just has one. Well, no, it's actually for the hoes you like. This you for the this for these for the women yeah. who Shut out. <laughs> the, the normal I'm doing the, it. the normal ones. I'm doing it for for the women that, the, the that normal like ones. to yeah. The like normal you. ones. That that not having a lot of bodies does not make you abnormal. You're I didn't just say a, a lot. That's the I difference. didn't say a lot. You All I'm saying is bodies. attractive women are probably offered. 50 yes, times a day. Yes, and they don't mean I have to take okay? it. Smart if women you, don't have to take it. If you only, if you're smart, you don't if take you only them. took one in 40 years. She was faithful <laughs> so to her wrong husband. With your cooch. She was faithful to her husband. Okay. And that don't make her that. bad. That don't make her that. bad. But I know you wouldn't know nothing about that. So that's why you want to clown the women that don't have a lot of bodies. It's so. not even about a lot, a lot of bodies. Let it me is. Tell you something. All I'm saying is what I would prefer if I'm now, because now we we dealing with today. Today. If you're in your mid 40s. Yes. And I meet you. Yes. And you coming over here with that one <laughs> that one pain, Cooch. That is so sad. I'm just going to be like, ah. But then when I tell I got to be in a situation where this is going to have to be long term. Or this is going to be a teaching situation completely. That's how life is supposed to work. It's supposed to be long term. That's what y'all done got so far removed from the book. That's the problem with you. Okay, you acting like she abnormal because she only got one partner in her life. That's what the words say do. 
You the one wrong, not her. How many partners you got? Don't worry about how many I got. Okay? Don't do her like that. That don't mean that. that that's not what that means. Look, you all deep in the book. You deep in the book, so you should, you should be able to tell me that. Right. Since you in the book. Is it Genesis I or is it Revelation? I am in the book. I, and I'm not going to you. You on chapter one? Are you on the You don't have a lot of nah, partners. You wanna... That's crazy. No, nah, ain't nothing wrong with a woman not having a lot of partners. I don't want y'all to think that. That's... I was just saying that I'm just making jokes on how, you know, <laughs> I, the I... sex could be quite mid. So, make it better. Nah. You got enough experience with both of them. Nah, nah, that, that's, that's, that's just nah. saying. See, there it is. They're that's, gonna that make it better. Make yeah. it better. Nah. It's always on the man. Nah, it I, is, any bad is. sex I've ever had is just bad. It's just bad. It's no. just no. It's just bad. No, no, it no, never no, got. No. I, I had a woman that I on paper, it was supposed to go. <laughs> on paper, it was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. But in the bedroom, it was the most odd, weird. I hate it. And I, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna try." I did that. Not did that. It never got better. Anytime I've ever had bad sex, it's always okay. So it was you a, would prefer your woman to go sleep with five other no, men I don't care. before I don't care. she got to you, so that she can know no, how no, no. to have sex with you the best way. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think that amount of. To be honest with you, I disagree with that. Thank I think you. the amount of times that you had sex doesn't necessarily mean that when me and you get together, it's going to be bad. Right. Because I, I, it, I just, because sex is all about connection. Thank you. The joke is about bad sex. It's not about partners. But I will say this. Ain't no joke. You was dead ass serious. And I just had to yeah, make this I point. Want, because I said I don't want that. Yes. That's what it's about. He didn't want to deal sex. with that. I didn't want to deal with it. the bad sex. But That's why, all I was why, accu- why accumulate a woman with less partners to bad sex. Who said her sex was bad because she ain't had a lot of partners? It may not be bad, but I do want to She was married my... for 20 years. She might have had some great sex, but only her husband would know because she did it the right way. And, I, and that's a beautiful that's a thing. Fact. That's a beautiful thing, and mm-hmm. I love that, Kiki. That's strike keep three. it, Keep strike, keep hope alive <laughs> and keep coochie alive. But I do want to say this. Put it on I just want to tell my uh, bad sex story. Okay. It was a woman, very beautiful woman, be- beautiful face, beautiful body. Coochie trash. And it, I, I'm just replying to you saying, oh, make it good. You can't make, when it's not good, you can't. Okay? How many partners did she have? I don't know how many partners she had. That wasn't my business. But all I know is the coochie, it was damp. Damn. It never got quite. Could it be you? It couldn't be me because I know be, what I do. Could it be you? She wasn't it turned could, on? It couldn't have been me. I mean, it, y'all act like it only worked one way. Let me Sometimes you. y'all just. Ain't I know, that. I know y'all like to blame us. And women, but guess what? no, we guess don't what? like to blame guess y'all. Guess what? No, because if a man comes to a, if a man comes to a fight with us uh, with a soft sword, <laughs> it's on him. No, but, it's not. Yes, it is. That's if we come to the true. fight with a soft sword, it don't get up. It don't get up. She gonna be like, "What's wrong with it? Take a pill. <laughs> figure it out. You gotta get it up. But you can come over here with this damn cooch, <laughs> and, and it's my fault. It go both ways. We both." We both know what we're here to do. Well, you need to pull out your baby oil drawer then. I saw head. bad drawers and it never did. Bad panties. Uh-huh. And I was like. Couldn't couldn't imagine. It didn't. It didn't work for you? It was, it was like, <laughs> went all the way where it's supposed yes, to be at. Because sex is, a, <laughs> is connected I to your brain. Like, What's that? What kind of panties was they? Like some granny panties? Yeah, like some granny panties. Then, then, then I started wondering, like. If you knew we was going to have some, if you wore these, and you wore these, I wonder what it's like in there. Like, mm. Is it going to stink? Didn't ever you still hit the it, panties? though. No, I did. Oh, you didn't so the it. panties detoured you? No, nah, I was did. just like, man, it's something wrong. I blamed it on me, though. I'll take the air. I blamed it on me, man. but really I knew it was, I knew it was, uh, I knew it was her. <laughs> you knew it was her. <sighs> Hair. I've seen women not shave their legs. Can't take that. And if your hair stink. While we doing it, mm-hmm. I, that's can't take me that off too. I don't like that. See, we all have our things, so mm-hmm. maybe you was doing something that she wasn't into, and it just wasn't getting wet for you. Well, that's not what she told me. What did she tell? We you? had time on. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
I just want to say I'm not because I'm not. I, when I tell women to go out and spread it and do what y'all do, y'all say you can't tell women that women need to respect themselves. Women need to do this. Exactly. And that. Y'all preach this at me. Y'all get so mad at me. The, even the pick me's they like to be in our comments. Don't. I would never. I'm just. So then when I say, hey, ladies, it's okay to have one partner. Then y'all talk about how... Not y'all. He did. Yeah, you right. Well, okay, him. You so I just want to know. Because <laughs> that just lets me know that you switching up every time. You were just saying, date, get out here. Throw that cat on the shelf. Put and it now on you tour. Said just one. Put it on two tour. Two things can be so true. You, no, two things can't yes. be true. Put it on tour if you want to. That's your prerogative. However, shout out to the women that don't have a lot of partners. Ain't That's nothing all. wrong with not having a lot of partners. You That ain't what you said. Final thought, Zach. <laughs> I just want it to be good. <laughs> That's it. Uh, TSR Live with me and Tom Capone this Thursday, so make sure y'all lock in. Damn, okay. <laughs> this Thursday. TSR Live, <laughs> Zach Boog and myself. <laughs> uh, with no Kiki, it's going to be weird. I it's have gonna it on the right weird. hand I don't side. Think we've done a show y'all with no Kiki. Y'all just talk to me like I'm there and then respond we'll like, be like me. Kiki, what you like me. <laughs> Child, I'm on the women's side or whatever we talking about. Because guess what? A woman is right and a man is wrong. Yes. All the time. Yes. Toxic femininity. Yes. Toxic. Yes. Yes. All right, y'all. It. Don't forget to watch. Don't forget to share the pod. Share the clips. Love y'all. Make sure you pop in on TSI Live, man. For sure, for sure. Shout out to everybody that does. Appreciate the pod, fam. Like we always say, what more can we say? <laughs>